All right, I got some exciting stuff today, so I thought I'd do another quick what I got today video. Make Toys Giant Set C, which consists of wheel loader and mixer, and some extra bits for um, whatever the dump truck is called. Dump truck is what it's called. The uh, let's pop these open really quick. I think I did talked about it on the video I made comparing the dump truck modes, which I may not have posted yet. But these hinges and these these tolerances were engineered really, really too tight <clears throat> on the original version of the figure. And the first time I attempted to fold back one of these headlight panels when converting it to robot mode, the hinge broke open. Um, this is a lot thicker on this side, so it's not going to break as quickly. And the tolerances are, there's a little more room between the pieces so they can they can actually move without pushing against each other. So that's neat. I will be switching that out here. Um, I don't know why they gave me these, because I haven't had any problems with this portion of the dump truck. But maybe I'll read the instructions and see what it says. It also came with a new head for giant mode. Um, and look, I have mobile crane right here. Let's see what the difference is. Isn't it clicking into place? Yeah. Let's see, this is the front. Slide it over. This is a little snug, probably because this thing is still in the way. Well, maybe we can see it better this way, after all. Click. Is it just me or does it look the same? Hey look, I have a zoom now. Of course, because the camera doesn't truly zoom, it's not like the detail gets any better. Um, I think it's the same. Oh, I'd heard people complain that the uh, this head joint makes, the neck joint makes the head look down a little too much and this is supposed to help with that, I guess, maybe? Maybe he can look up more? I don't know probably doesn't matter. I guess I can, now that I have the legs, I can put these guys on and see what it looks like another time. But anyway, really excited to have two more figures for Make Toys Giant. I do not have the arms. Um, when I was looking earlier this week, nobody has them in stock <clears throat> except eBay, and then they want 20 or 30 over retail plus shipping. So I will probably actually not bother trying to get any more of the Yellow Giants. I have the Green Giant set on order. Hopefully it will come out a little in a couple of weeks. I think it's everywhere says the end of June. And then odds are good I'll probably get around to selling these because I do like the green look better. That's what's iconic to me. Um, although, I don't know, they're good figures. Who knows, maybe I'll be crazy and I'll keep them all. I also... <coughs> Did something I shouldn't have, but I bought the O's metal holder, and I started buying metals. Um, so I got the Sagozo combo and the metal holder today. Previously I got the Burakawani set, and one that has Lion and Cheetah and Stag Beetle. I don't know how I'm going to get the Takatora Bata medals unless I buy an O's driver for a lot of money, and I really, really don't want to do that. So actually what I think my plan is, is I will buy the rest of the metals, except for the ones that come with the O's driver, and then I will sell all of this. As much as I like it, I just, I don't play with my DX toys. The, all the DX memories I have, I'm thinking about selling, because I never play with them either. Oh, and I did get one more memory the other day. Masquerade. And that's pretty neat. Oh, and one other thing I got earlier this week. I found out that Eagle Moss is making a chess set. A DC-themed chess set. Um, they've been doing uh, little lead figurines of Marvel and DC characters. I haven't looked at them because they seem a little pricey and I think they're kind of smallish. 
But I love chess, and I love neat chess sets, and so when I found out about this, I couldn't turn it down. Um, I ordered Batman, who is the White King. And this is the only one I have so far. Eh. Okay, I'm not going to try and take it out. But I was surprised by how big it is. It's a little bit bigger than 4-inch scale. Maybe it's actually exactly 4-inch scale, but it's got a big base with a gargoyle, and it says it's the king. So that's really neat. I will be slowly trying to complete this set. Unfortunately, each figure is going to run 20 to $25 times 16. That's a lot of money very quickly, so I probably won't buy them very fast. But I was really excited about it. So that's some other stuff I got this week.